today we will see our third problem our third problem is flow through a pipe or tube it's a internal flow problem so if you see here the problem definition we have a tube a circular tube and the diameter of the tube is 1 inch and the length of the tube is 30 d that is 30 inch two and a half feet and our working fluid is water so water at 80 degree celsius temperature is flowing through this tube and the tube wall temperature is 25 degree c so our parameters are our working fluid is water pipe diameter is one inch pipe wall temperature is 25 degree c or 298 degree kelvin inlet velocity we will do laminar flow through the pipe and for internal flow we all know that the Reynolds number less than 1800 is laminar and the Reynolds number between 1800 to 2300 is transition and after that the Reynolds number greater than 2300 is turbulent flow so we will use Reynolds number 500 for our simulation our inlet water temperature is 80 degree c or 353 kelvin we have to find the contour for the velocity and temperature we have to find the velocity temperature and pressure distribution along the pipe surface heat transfer coefficient velocity and thermal boundary layer and total heat transfer see here in the problem definition we have the pipe diameter and the Reynolds number so from the definition of Reynolds number if we put this value for water then we will get the velocity inside the tube is 0 0.0197 meter per second and this velocity represents Reynolds number 500 so we will see the laminar flow through this pipe and we will try to resolve this boundary layer as you can see here we have the boundary layer in this section this is the developing flow and from here we have the fully developed flow so we will try to see this velocity distribution and temperature distribution along this pipe diameter so in the next tutorial we will see the geometry and the meshing now we will develop the geometry for our problem so first go to fluent and then go to geometry so in this problem first we will do the 2d problem and then we will try to see the 3d problem now we will generate our 2d tube so for 2d tube actually it's a rectangle because if you cut a cylinder from the mid plane and if you see from the front side you will see a rectangle just like this picture so here the diameter of the tube is 1 inch and the length is 30 D that is 30 inch so we will develop a 1 inch by 30 inch rectangle so go here draw in XY plane so select this select the sketch and select normal then go to sketching tool select the rectangle and draw the rectangle first and then go to dimension general select this this would be 30 inch and select this this would be 1 inch 
so here is our cylinder as you can see our tube so generate and this is the tube now we will develop the surface because we were doing 2d geometry so go to concept and here you have the option surface from sketch so select this and here in the detailed view it is asking the base object our base object is our sketch one apply and then generate now you can see the surface and this is the 2d tube so here we can see for 2d it's simply a surface if we do 3d we will develop the whole tube but for 2d it's simply the surface and right now the surface has been generated and we will do the meshing in the next tutorial thank you